CRG dropped a new star system alpha 3.24.2a patch. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. Uh, CIG just dropped a new 24.2a patch, and this one combines all the current hotfixes on live along with uh, many new stability and upcoming save Stanton updates, essentially replacing P.24.3. So what's happened with P.24.3 is they will move it until next week. So they're shutting that down, replacing it with this patch, and then we'll get P.24.3 next week. All right. So with this one, it says here, we're planning on running this build throughout the weekend on PTU with the goal to send it to live early next week. So this one has quite a few bug fixes. So they fixed an issue where retrieving a ship results in we're unable to deal with your request at this time and no ship and timeout failed. They fixed an issue where majority of transit managers can stop functioning for a giving shard for hours with no entity graph lag present. They fixed an issue where a player interacts with the ASAP while a server error occurred can block this kiosk from being interacted with by another player. I seen this bug before. It's interesting that it came back and now they're fixing it again. They fixed an issue where you cannot initiate quantum jump. They fixed an issue where hauling missions give full rewards without delivering all cargo. When the submit button is pressed, they fixed an issue where permanent incapacitated audio loops after responding oh my goodness thank goodness they fixed this one it's really annoying they fix an issue where the rsi zeus all variants when a player is in the co-pilot or gunner seat the player in the pilot seat will not be able to swap between scm and nav mode they fix an issue where transit appears to be failing to stream back in after being streamed out they fix an issue where spawning not possible after rejoining lobby they fix an issue where after accepting the cargo recovery mission the locate the missing ship objective can complete itself and remove the quantum marker before player reaches the mission location they fix an issue where resources deposited through freight elevator go directly to inventory instead of towards the mission so now this is for cargo missions obviously they fix an issue where phase one out of three players receive additional duplicate objectives when another player accepts the same mission so now this is the save stanton um, priority mission so now they fix an issue where subsequent sabotage gang operation missing are not appearing after completing the first one this is also related to save stanton they fix an issue where AI are sometimes failing to spawn at the mission location. They fix an issue where turrets are not hostile to the player upon arriving at mission location. Also related to Save Stanton. They fix an issue where timer does not update in real time. They fix an issue where journal entries do not persist after clearing persistent game data. Also related to Save Stanton. Along with this is 9 client crashes, 23 server crash fixes, 3 hybrid crash fixes they fixed multiple issues with extremely high entity counts in stanton they further client physics performance improvements they made further background service stability improvements as well before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one